We're looking at wind and wind energy. Where does wind come from? Well, the sun heats up air particles and those air particles move. And the movement of air particles we call convection currents, which is, in effect, wind. And then the wind turns a wind turbine and that then generates electricity. You need to know about advantages and disadvantages of wind energy. Advantages, it's renewable, it won't run out. There's no need for fuel and it doesn't pollute. The disadvantages are that some people think that wind turbines look unattractive and anyway we've got to find the suitable place to put them and also that this it's dependent on having the right wind speed to generate electricity, and that's wind energy. Now we're looking at passive solar heating, which heats up our houses and our greenhouses. The sun emits infrared radiation of a shortish wavelength, and that can pass through glass, because glass is transparent to it. The radiation is then absorbed by objects in the house and admitted by it, but at a longer wavelength. That wavelength then can't go back through the glass, and so heat is trapped in the house. Lastly, you need to know about solar collectors and solar reflectors. A solar collector is anything that can move or rotate to follow the sun's position and collect as much sunlight as possible. A solar reflector can be used to collect the sun's radiation and reflect it to a focal point using a curved mirror. This can be used for cooking.